Hi guys, it's Kirsten and in today's video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be going to the Demi Lovato concert tonight. It is March 26, 2018. It's at 7.30. It's at the TD Garden in Boston. I'm so excited. I'm going with my best friend Autumn. You guys have seen her on my channel. I'm going to be putting in some footage in this video of the concert and yeah this is how I'm going to be doing my makeup and hair today and you know I have like black and white on so I wanted to do a little bit of a colored lid and then just a nude lip and then I kind of just wanted to scrunch my hair have a little bit of volume I just wanted to be very comfortable because you know I'm good yeah, you know what I mean so if you guys want to see how I achieved this concert Demi Lovato look then please keep on watching okay so to start off I already applied it because I was going to do all this off camera, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to YouTube it for you guys and film it and get ready with me. So I'm going to be starting off with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. So like I said, I already applied that. So now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the Dewy Smooth one and this is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I'm just going to be applying that with my beauty blender. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay and this is in the shade Light Neutral. I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes, my forehead, a little bit on my nose and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, so now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just going to dump some out on a cap and then use my beauty blender. Get underneath my eyes and then... my lid grab a little bit more and then I'm just gonna take it with my beauty blender and then I'm just gonna put it up everywhere on my face just to set the whole thing all right so now that I have powder all over my face I'm just gonna dust that off just with a big fluffy brush like this Okay, so now for contour, I'm gonna do my whole face first and then I'll do my eyes. So I'm just going to be using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I'm just gonna take that on my Kat Von D contour brush and I'm just gonna swirl that around. So now just to kind of chisel the cheek out a little, I'm going to just be using my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to be taking it like on the side of my beauty blender and just bringing it down. Okay, so while that bakes, I'm just going to be putting on some blush. I want a little bit of color in my cheek so I don't look, you know, like dead. So I'm going to be using the Tarte. Amazonian clay 12 hour blush and this is in party I'm just gonna be taking that on a blush brush just dipping a little bit in there smiling and just putting it all over my cheeks over here okay so now for highlight I'm going to be using the Tartlet Pro Glow. This is the liquid highlight and this is in the shade Stunner. This is super pretty. I'm just going to be taking a little bit on the back of my hand. It's just about, I don't know if you can see that, just about that much. And I'm going to be taking it on the side of my beauty blender where the powder isn't. I'm just going to be dipping it in there and applying it to my cheeks. Hoping it doesn't take off. You guys see that? Honey. I got this for free with like uh, some, I think it was like the 100 point things, those things. This is so pretty. 
Okay, so now to top that off with a little bit of powder so it stays, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Glow Kit and this is in Gleam. I haven't used this in like so long. I'm gonna be taking the shade Crushed Pearl, which is this shade right here, just on my highlight brush that I always use. And I'm just gonna be swirling that on there. Honey, my highlight today is blinding. I'm four though. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Taking my finger, putting a little bit on the tip of my nose and on the bridge and on my cupid's bow. Well. Alright, so I'm just gonna be brushing off the bake. Now I'm going to apply my brows off camera and then I will be right to back. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing on my eyes. So I finished my brows. I've been feeling the bold brow lately. So that's what's going to be going on today. So for my eyes, I kind of want to do something a little colorful, you know, because I've been into the colorful looks lately and I'm only wearing black and white. So... You know, I said, why not? So her tour is kind of like a red-ish, but I don't really want to do a red eye today. So I think I'm going to do like a teal blue color and I'm going to be using the Chaclin Hill Morphe palette while I'm doing that. So this is it right here. So to start off, I'm just going to be using a transition color. So I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M330 brush. You guys know I love this brush. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This transition shade, it's kind of like a cafe color. So I'm just gonna be taking that and popping that in my crease and just bringing it up slightly just so we have a little bit of a transition. All right, so now that I have that nice transition down, I'm just going to deepen up the, the crease a little bit. So I'm gonna be taking a smaller fluffy brush. This is just an Avon brush. And I'm gonna be using the color right below that. So it's just a little bit darker. And I'm just going to be doing it a little bit below the crease, not going up so much towards my eyebrow. Now I'm just gonna be taking that macaroni and cheese shade right over here, and I'm just gonna be applying it with that same Avon brush, and I'm just going to go right in between just to make it a little bit more orangey. It looks a little messy right now, but we'll clean it up after. All right then, so now that we have the transition done, I'm gonna take yeah, LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and I'm just going to apply that on the eye just so we want everything to pop. I'm just going to apply it in the center just like that and then I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm just going to blend that in. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I just wanted it to make the eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented okay so now that I have that concealer all over the lid with that same concealer brush I'm just going to be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to be packing that in just so it doesn't crease okay so now for it on the lid we're going to use a flat packer brush and I'm going to be taking this teal shade right here, right down at the bottom. And we're just gonna be taking that on our brush and just packing that all over the lid. So now that we have the green on the lid, I'm gonna be taking the same green, but I'm just gonna be kind of tapping it off and I'm going to be taking it and just blending it in with the transition color. So now with that same 
brush, I'm just gonna wipe off the teal and I'm gonna be taking a little bit, just a little bit of this darker brown right at the bottom. And I'm just going to, oops, and I'm just gonna be taking that on the brush and tapping it off. And I'm just gonna be putting a little bit where the teal and the transition meet just so we have a nice shadow in the crease all right so now for the bottom lash line i'm going to be taking just a small little angled brush and i'm just going to be taking that first shade that we took on the lid and i'm just going to be lining the bottom lash line with that Then I'm going to be taking the shade below it and doing the same thing. And then I'm just going to be taking the first fluffy brush that we used, the Morphe one, and I'm just going to be blending all that together. Then I'm going to be taking the flat shader brush with the teal on it and we're going to be putting the teal just like that right underneath the lash line now the last thing to do for the eyes i'm going to be taking the highlighting palette that we use and i'm just going to take a little brush for the inner corner and I'm going to just take the shade Crushed Pearl and I'm just going to put it right in the inner corner just to give a little bit of a awakened eye. Now I'm going to be applying mascara and lashes and then I will be right back. Alright, so I brought you guys in to my lips. You guys can never see me do my lips, so I figured it'd be a better angle if I did it like down here, you know. Oh yeah, and I'm done with my eyes too, by the way. You can see them. So I'm going to be using the MAC lip liner and this is in the shade Whirl. Upside down I think, fabulous. Lining my lips with this and then I'm going to be putting my lip stick on with the Melted Matte Too Faced and this is in the shade Child Star. I'm going to be doing that. pink for me so I just added the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade London. Alright so now that the makeup is all set and done I'm going to be moving on to my hair. So I've been using a lot of heat lately so I don't really want to use any heat on my hair today so I'm just going to be scrunching it a bit. This is just my natural hair so I'm just going to be taking it out of the bun. So this is what my hair looks like just freshly out of the shower and dried overnight. So I'm just going to be scrunching it so I don't have a diffuser. Unfortunately, I wish I did, but I don't. This would be even better if I had a diffuser. But literally all I do is I just take a volumizing mousse. This is the Schwarzkopf Stylus Ultima one. It just smells really good. It's the volume mousse for stronghold, whatever. So it just looks like this. And I just shake it up. I'm gonna take some on my hand. So take a little like this. And then I'm just gonna stand up because it's easier. So I'm just literally just gonna be scrunching the whole entire thing. So I just start at the root, get inside a little, scrunch it, get underneath. You don't want the underneath. To be dry and the rest of it to be crunchy so I don't mind my hair being crunchy so at the end once this all dries it's gonna be crunchy but so then once it sides like down I'm gonna take a little more flip my hair over make sure all the hair is over there get the underneath underneath I'm gonna 
don't be afraid to just get in there, you know? You wanna make sure all of it is saturated with the mousse. Top. Just wanna scrunch it in. Two hours later. And then sometimes if I just want to slick this down a little bit, I just take a little bit of hair, putty, like mousse stuff. I don't really like this stuff, so I'm not really going to show you guys what kind I'm using. But you can just use any, and I just take it. My hair kind of already parts like this. You can part it to the side. Just take a little bit. Get it right at your scalp. And then I just take a comb. And just comb it back. I usually don't put a bobby pin because it usually just stays like this. You can put it behind your ear. Whatever you want to do. And then it usually just dries like this and it gets crunchy and then it just stays. I usually don't put hairspray. You can put hairspray though. And then I'm just going to be putting on some earrings and then yeah, I'll be done. Alright guys, so this is the finished hair and makeup. I hope you guys liked it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Get Ready With Me's. Please put the notification bell on to be notified every time I upload. Usually is one or twice a week. I don't really have a day anymore. I used to have a day, but I don't really know if I have a day anymore. Please follow me on my social media. I'll put it right over here. And please thumbs up this video if you liked it. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Yeah, I'm ready to go now. Bye. We're here at the concert. We literally just paid $40 for parking. Like, you gotta be kidding me right now. We're walking to the TD Garden. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so we're here. We're really close. I want to show you guys. That's the stage. And we're so excited. We're so close.